Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices, one topic or feature at a time in a consumable fashion. So today we'll talk about Nowbar. It's a brand new feature that's a part of Samsung One UI 7.0 beta, currently in beta, which will fully be officially launched the first quarter of 2025 after the Galaxy S25 is launched. So now bar is just a active widget that's on the front screen. It's stackable. A lot of applications will be able to run on the bottom that you're able to interact with them with. So pretty much I'm just going to unlock the device. I'm going to show you where all the settings is for now bar. And for this one, you just want to go up to the very top. You go inside of your settings. Then as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at lock screen. Now in lock screen, you'll see the option for now bar. It'll work with your music modes and routines. Then here is your live notifications. So you saw that we were using clock because I was using a timer. It'll also show the same thing for stopwatch. You also have voice recorder, emergency sharing. You have Samsung Health, interpreter, maps, Samsung Notes, and Bixby. Now let's just go through and let's open up another thing as well. So let's go inside of Samsung, uh, the voice recorder. I'm going to hit on this little record button. So now we'll be able to record this as well. So now what's going to happen is when you take a look at your now bar on the very bottom, you have the option where it says recording. I can also pause it. Uh, and then you can see that I have other applications running as well. You're also able to tap on these little pills on the bottom so it can expand it and make it a little bit bigger. So this one gives you that X. So you're basically able to close out. Here's pause as well as stop. Uh, some of the other things that you're also able to do is let's say that you go down over inside of music and if you tap on this one it'll open up the full entire thing uh, and then this is where you'd be able to hit thumbs up play pause go back also if you were to actually you know have your galaxy buds connected now i did open up my galaxy buds because i wanted to show you that there's also more features with it so if you are listening to bluetooth one of the things you can do is you can actually tap on those galaxy buds and this is going to give you the settings for your galaxy buds so this is where i can actually turn up the volume turn down the volume take a look at my batteries i'd be able to change ambient sound adaptive active noise cancellation 360 audio the equalizer and also the loud loudness normalization so it's actually pretty cool to change some of these settings without actually having to unlock your device you also have media output. So because I am listening to my buds, I can actually just simply switch it over to the phone speaker if I wanted to, or if I want to connect it to another Bluetooth uh, option. So here we are, we're just listening to music. We're going around doing whatever we want to. Uh, with this one, I can hit play and pause on the timer, whatever the case. Again, I can open this up. I can also pause it or cancel it. Now, one thing that I want to add in is if you're using the always on display, which mine is activated by touch. Some people have it on all the time. Some people have it on by a schedule. Uh, remember, this is not the lock screen. This is always on display. This is something before the lock screen. So if you try to change the song or pause it with one tap, it's not going to work. Because it's always on display, it's trying to avoid all of those accidental taps. This is where you do the double tap. This double tap will allow you to go to the next song. It'll allow you to play and pause it or go back to the last song. Again, always on display is a double tap. When you go inside of your lock screen because it's more active, this is where you just have to do it with a single tap. And so, yes, you are able to use this with Samsung Health. So, for example, if you go inside of Samsung Health, again, you're at the gym. You don't really want to interact with your phone all too much. Uh, we're going to go right over here. We're going to do like a chest and shoulder exercise. This is for bench press and push-ups. You can create your own as well. You can even edit this one. So now when I hit on this little plus or the start option, this is where now I'm inside of this little, uh, you know, uh, the start, pretty much like a little warm-up. And so now it's going to be on the very bottom. So right now we're inside of warm-up. And if I tap this right here and I hit on next, what will happen is now I'm getting ready to do my bench press 10 reps and three sets or I can just go over into the very next thing which is going to be break now if you ever just need to go back into this little exercise right here you can just tap on the little widget unlock your phone and now you're on the inside and now to close out this video one thing I want to show you on the very bottom is let's say that you're stacking some YouTube applications so like YouTube YouTube TV YouTube music they'll actually stack with each other so this right here is going to be YouTube music. So if I show you, you know, this is YouTube music right here, you'll actually notice this little dot. That means that not only do I have YouTube music right there, but I also have YouTube itself. So this way, if I want to switch between the two, I'd be able to listen to one and then switch to the other. You're able to go back and forth when it comes down to whatever you are listening to. Once you hit on the pause on one of them and you hit play on the next, this is now the main first one that you'll see, which will be that little pill that you'll see on the very bottom. But yes, you are able to switch between YouTube and YouTube music with the exact same little now bar pill. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you in today's video. That is all the applications that pretty much works with the now bar. That's how you're able to interact with it. You can tap it. You can open it up. You can expand some things. You can also just not even unlock your phone at all. And you can play, pause, skip, 
finish, whatever, it's all going to be on the very bottom as a little stackable widget on the very bottom. And that is a part of Samsung One UI 7.0 beta. And hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll